Okay, hi, Pitchy six or seven, and I am bringing you another Wi-Fi battle against Pink Demon. Some random numbers I can't remember. I think eighteen sixty. Um, yeah. So she starts off with a uh, Umbreon. I start off with my Glyscor. I just start, start off with her EQ, and she does a Shadow Ball, which is unusual because they're usually bulky. Yeah. So I use the Fling to get constant damage onto this um. Umbreon with poison because I generally think they're bulky. I've never seen a physical one, so that caught me by surprise. I mean, a offensive one. Yeah, so that caught me by surprise. I, my Glasgow gets a special defense drop, which kind of sucks. I actually was not paying attention during this part of the battle. I was just clicking, saying, yeah, click, yeah, hopefully that kills it. And yeah, because I was narrating a battle that I recently uploaded. So I used a thief. I thought it had leftovers because, yes, as I said before, I thought this was bulky. And usually, mine even has leftovers, so I would have thought it had leftovers or some sort of item, but it didn't have any items at all, so that was weird. So she sent out her, um, Espeon. And yeah, I predicted a special attack move, but not Psyshock. So yeah, Psyshock attacks, if you didn't know, Psyshock attacks you from your physical side. So if you're really bulky in the fence, you can take Psyshock quite easily. Well, I was pretty stupid here, not paying attention. She used the Psyshock again, and I used the um, Stealth Rocks and Magic Bounce, actually bounce it back to me. And yeah, and I was not paying attention still. And I used the T-Wave, and yeah, I don't know what drugs I was on then, but yeah. So I tell you, now I'm paralyzed and now I've got stealth rocks on my side, which kind of sucks. Now she's using Psycho Shock again. This is when the narration actually finished and went, oh shit, I can't believe I did all this crap. So now I start paying attention to try and battle seriously now, but it's kind of a bit late. So I use um, Soft Boil again, I mean Soft Boil, and it takes me about like halfway. She has a side Shock and I went, yeah, I can take that, I can take a side Shock. But not when I'm paralyzed. So I get para hacks, stupid para hacks, and yeah, that kind of sucks. And she, she does a side shock, which takes me out, and yeah, kind of sucks. I send my my Enemolola, however you pronounce it. I really don't know how to pronounce it. She does a hidden power. I think it's ice, or maybe fire. I don't know because fire, maybe fire. I use a, um, hmm, aqua jet, ah, aqua jet, aqua ring, and yeah, to get leftovers and aqua ring. So I used the skull, hoping for the burn, I'm not 100% sure if, um, I wasn't 100% sure at the time if I would get burnt from magic bounce, but I don't think it would have. So, he uses, um, Psy shock again, and really couldn't do anything, I used skulled. And I get the burn hacks, and which is really good because this thing couldn't have done anything. Because this is just a bulky, stallish Pokemon. It's not meant to do anything much with it. So she, she does a um, Shadow Ball, and I went, okay, I could take that quite easily. And I went, crap. And I got a crit and a special defense drop, which sucked balls. And yeah, so she. Um, I actually missed what happened there. I was zoned out. And yeah, you get hurt by Thing, and really, I could have survived another Shadow Ball easily, but the damn special defense drop and crit just weakened it too much. And yeah, so I sent out my Butterfree, and yeah, that got raped by Stealth Rocks. She has the Shadow Ball, and I think, I'm not sure she got cocky, saying, yeah, I could take out a Butterfree like a yeah, and I survived like that. I went, shit, I actually survived. So I used the Quiver Dance, and... Now I'm fuzzing this Espeon. Which rules. And I take out with the Espeon, which could have just swept my whole team, really. Because I had nothing that could take it. So I used the Sleep Powder. Because I think I have Compound Ice, or it's a Tinted Lens. I actually don't remember. Well, yeah, I got one of them, too. So, um... 
so I take this chance to set up another quiver dance, and s I could have done sleep powder, but that would, would have done sleep claws, and you're not allowed to do that. So I use the bug buzz, and that takes it down to like I don't know one HP, stupid one HP. So she, she he does a T bolt, and that takes him out my butterfree. Poor butterfree. So I sent him a Melga, and I went, nah, I can't do anything. I really, the T bolt will just take me out quite easily. Or maybe she predicted a switch to my Glacial. Maybe. But anyway, um, she has a Shadow Ball. I survive. I'm not sure she got cocky there, but I survived. And yeah, now I got that special attack Rosen from that berry and an agility up. So now I'm f clearly fast in the whole team. She sends out her um, Leafion. And if you didn't realize this, this is AV Evolution team. The whole team. So I use Air Slash on Elephium, which takes it out, and yes, now I think I'm winning. So she sends out her Glaceon, I use a T-Bolt, and I can take it, takes it about halfway. I'm glad I was asleep, because that would have killed my Emolgo, but poor sweet Flying Pachiritsu. Um, yeah, I use the second T-Bolt, and that takes it out. And yes, yeah, so now her last Pokemon is a Vaporeon, I use a T-Bolt, hoping for the kill and I do not get the kill she survives like 30 HP so she uses a scald and that takes my emolga out so lastly I send out my scolipede and that will easily take this out and that's a GG and yeah my bad for like not paying attention the first 10 turns but I came back and won it, so that's all that matters. So, yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.